What's up everybody? Overview of King of the Table 2. Uh, I haven't slept except for two hours on the plane from Dubai <laughs> to Frankfurt, which is where I am right now. I'm just chilling out. Frankfurt Airport. Uh, so, first of all, all you dudes who are ripping the, ripping the stream and putting it up and live streaming, at least give it 24 hours, guys. Let these guys make as much as they can. They put a ton of money in. Okay, if you want these things to continue, don't rip them off. Okay, I know everybody wants to grow their YouTube, but seriously, like, don't be proud of all those thousands of views you're getting on your live feeds. Because <laughs> cause you want these things to be around, you want them to do well. Anyways, uh, Ernie's and uh, Gennady. Uh, I actually picked it wrong. I thought Gennady was going to win. Uh, sounds like Gennady has a wrist surgery that I was somewhat unaware of. Uh, I don't know if it's going to affect the upcoming match with him and Michael potentially. That might be a switch. I never like it when people book matches like too far in advance, especially high level ones, because you never know what's going to happen. I thought in the match, Hermes was awesome, uh, had hand control every time and showed great range transitioning from press and in and out basically controlled the match from start to finish Gennady looked at points as though he was going to be able to turn it around he was trying to do a king's move couldn't really really ever turn the tide he at times would seem like he was worsening his position uh, when he did get the stop by trying to trying to press the side and he'd lose his hand that he had you know even more um, almost stopping him in some kind of a bent back almost hook like he didn't even really roll the way I would have liked to see him roll but uh, almost turned it around great match anyways really enjoyed it but my favorite match absolutely by far was Brandon Allen and Larry Wheels Huge fan of both these guys, uh, both very new in the sport of arm wrestling still, and every time you see them come out, they're clearly getting better and better. Uh, overall, it seemed as though, you know, the styles are very different between these two. Larry seems to have a very fundamental style. I mean, if you want to call it a WAF style, uh, you know, basically he's got a great, great hook great cut based uh, got a great top roll um, I think Larry needs to work on kind of the the wonky styles of arm wrestling maybe a bit or at least being familiar with them so when he deals with these kind of people he's familiar uh, and maybe he needs a little bit more of a press Brandon Allen arm wrestled brilliantly uh, for a two year guy I've, I, I, don't, I don't know that I've seen a guy who's Got two years in, arm wrestled the way he did. Uh, his kind of fighting attributes really shone through. Um, his aggression, his flexibility, his decision making were like way ahead of a, a, a two-year guy where, where you think he's supposed to be. And, and, and the style that he uses, the, the king's move, uh, flop, you know, back and forth. That's super, that's super tough, I mean, to, to do that. Uh, he looks like, a, you know, he, he arm wrestles a lot like actually Michael Todd does uh, when Michael doesn't suck. Uh, <laughs> no, but he does. He arm wrestles a lot like Michael. He's, you know, he's got that flop wrist press and um, and King's move option, which is, is love it, hate it, whatever. Guys with two years in can't normally do it. Um, and... Yeah, John and I, uh, overall, I'm, I'm quite pleased with everything. Uh, truth to the matches, we fought hard for the, the things that are important. We've both been arm wrestling a long time. We know, we know what's important. We know what we need. And uh, really, there was the one surge, round one. Uh, eventually, the match kind of stopped and settled. And as soon as the started to kind of shift in my favor, the match was aborted. 
and by round two I could do whatever I wanted. That's the reality of the match. Um, a lot of people talked about the rules coming into it. Uh, I'm a big believer in the king of the table rules. I think if you want to watch arm wrestling, if you want to watch arm wrestling matches, start to finish, uh, the set grip, the straps, three fouls, running fouls. I think it's I think it's the way you got to do it. Uh, you want to start doing referees grip and foul calls. I just think it's just gonna I just think it's gonna diminish the overall show. Uh, point of note though, by round two, it was John who was requesting the strap uh, as soon as we got to the table. So, just for all you people who are, you know, saying that it was going to be me that was going to be wanting the strap, well, the reality is John was asking for it from round two till we stopped on wrestling. Uh, love core sports, love their vision. Uh, speaking to them briefly about the future, 2022 looks looks awesome. Uh, yeah, thanks to everybody who um, who bought the pay per view. That's really what fuels this whole thing and, and lets lets this happen. Uh, so thank you for your support. Uh, and to everybody who staked me, I was so nervous for you. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you guys got your money. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go and chill out now. I'm going to go home and, and relax. Uh, just, you know, yeah, probably for a couple months, I'm not going to, I'm not going to push myself. I've put, I've had a very hard year where I've really pushed myself very hard throughout most of it. So I'm purposefully going to, uh, try and uh, be like a normal human being for a bit. I don't know how that's going to work, but um, yeah, maybe that'll last a couple days, but my intention is to have it be that way for a couple months. Uh, yeah, because there's some big things coming, that's for sure. Alright everybody, have a great Christmas. See y'all soon.